Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to learn how to import the PDF file in the AutoCAD. So there are two types of PDF files which we come across during our projects. The first type is the PDF file which is generated from the AutoCAD software. But maybe due to some reason you may not receive the DWG or DXF file. You will be receiving the PDF file from your client or the consultant. Maybe because of some confidentiality or maybe because it's a renovation project and the AutoCAD was done a long back. Okay, so second type of the PDF file is, is the file which is maybe a scanned copy of the plan. Okay, so today in this video we'll be learning about the PDF file which was generated by the AutoCAD software. So the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to study the PDF file. So this is a sample PDF drawing I have. What we are going to study in this PDF file is we are going to search what are the units used in this. Okay, so that you can generally come across when it is mentioned as a room dimensions or maybe a distance somewhere mentioned in the drawing. So here all the units are in feet and inches. So I think the units used to make the plan was feet and inches, right? Now I'll close this PDF file. We'll go to our AutoCAD. Start a new drawing. Once you are in the AutoCAD, the first step you need to do is set the units. So we'll go type units, enter. We have checked our PDF file. So the units there is in inches and feet. So we'll change from decimal to architectural. Then from millimeters to inches. Precision will make it 0, 0. You can even change the angle. For now, let's keep it as decimal degrees and then click OK. So this is the first setting you need to make in the AutoCAD file. Once this is done, go to Insert, PDF Import. Now select the PDF file from your destination folder. My file is here. I'll click on Open. Then this window appears which says the location the first point you can specify it on the screen or you can define it here itself for now i'll not make any changes here neither i will make any changes in the rotation okay next pdf data to import vector geometry yes solid fills yes true type text yes if you have any images in your pdf file and you need that to be imported in the autocad file click yes then layers, you want to use PDF layers or you want to create your own object layers. You can select anyone here. For now, we'll keep PDF layers. So what happens is when you keep the PDF layers in the layers, you will be having a prefix as PDF. Then in the next options, we have import as block. So if you click this one, then your whole drawing will be one single block. We don't want that. So we'll not click this one join line and arc segments yes we want to join the lines next convert solid fills into hatches yes apply line weight properties yes infer line types collinear dashes for now no okay so we have made the settings and my da and my pdf is getting imported done my PDF is imported, zoom extends, let's check the drawing, you can see my drawing is like separate lines because I didn't import it as a block, then all the solid fills have been converted into hatches, this one, the solid fills, my text is clear, it's an M text, no need to make any changes. Next thing we need to check is, is it imported with the proper dimensions? To verify the scale of the drawing, we need to cross check the distance. For that, we'll use the command DI. Here already it's mentioned it's two feet, 
72 and a half inches so moreover it is 2 feet 8 inches let's check the dimension this is our first point this is our second point and yes it is 2 feet 8 inches it means that we have imported our drawing with proper scaling this is because we studied the pdf drawing and we have set the proper units so guys this is how you import a pdf file into the autocad conditions apply that the pdf which you import should be previously generated through autocad software so in my next video we'll be learning about how to import a scanned pdf in the autocad file if you found this video helpful please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more enlightening design with me thank you